Good morning to you on this Friday morning. Today we read from Colossians chapter 2 verses 6 to 7. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in Him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. So having received Christ Jesus as Lord of your life, the next step and the continuing step is to walk in Him, to walk in His ways. Having been firmly rooted and now being built up in Him and established in your faith. Being built up in Him, we build our house upon the rock. We build our life upon Him. Remember Jesus spoke about two different people who built houses. One built his house upon the rock and the other on the sand. The one built on the rock withstood all the waves, the sea, the wind, everything that came up against it. The one built on the sand fell apart, fell down and came crashing down. Build up your life upon Him. We build our life upon Him when we read His Word, when we daily come before Him in prayer. Be established in your faith as you were instructed and continue to be instructed. And then this last part, overflowing with gratitude. That is the key to growing in faith, is an attitude of gratitude in everything, in all things, giving thanks to Him, overflowing with gratitude. We should not be spending time whinging and complaining. We need to be using our mouth to thank God, to praise and worship Him. In the Psalms it says, come into His gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. So we come through to God with thanksgiving and praise. We come into his presence with thanksgiving and praise. David wrote, Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We have so much to be thankful for. The main thing is we are thankful for salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord that God does not account to us our sins. He removes our sins away from us when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He wipes the slate clean. There is something to be thankful for today, tomorrow, and forever and ever. God does not hold us to account for our sins if we repent and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. So we have so much to be thankful for. God provides for us every day. He is with us always. There's not a moment when we are alone. He has given us His Word. He has given us His Spirit. He has given us a beautiful world to live in. Just look around. The colors, the beauty of nature. There's so much to be thankful for. So let's make it a point today and always to be overflowing, overflowing with gratitude. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we come before you. We come through your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We praise, worship and thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so very much. Thank you, Jesus, that you died upon the cross. You shed your blood so that our sins could be forgiven, that our names could be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that you have given us your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you that we are never alone. Thank you that you are always with us wherever we go. Thank you that you provide for our daily needs, our daily bread. You give us the air that we breathe. Thank you for your beautiful creation. We see your works all around us and we just say how great thou art. Thank you, Lord, for the birds and thank you for the flowers. Thank you for everything that we see. Thank you for other people. Thank you for our families. We thank you for our friends. We thank you also for those people who challenge us and push us and teach us to love even more. Thank you for every lesson you give us in our life. Thank you that nothing ever happens to us that you do not know about. Thank you that you work all things together for good to those who love you. We proclaim that we love you, Lord, and we thank you. We ask your blessing over this day. We ask your blessing over our loved ones near and far. We ask, Lord, for your blessing upon those who serve in governments. 
We ask, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and help them not to be corrupt, help them to do the right thing. We thank you for this great country in which we live. We thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful things you give to us. We pray for someone that doesn't know you yet. We ask that this would be the day they open their hearts to you. We lift up the sick. We lift up before you the dying and all who are in need. And we thank you that you meet the needs of all people, Lord. Thank you so much. We ask now, Lord, that you would just help us to walk in your way, fill us anew with your Holy Spirit, and help us, Lord, to reflect your love wherever we go. Hear us as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.